Hello, an evening chat with you today to talk about the new Shantikai Cheetah collection. Before you jump in purchasing this collection, I'd like to discuss a few points so that you are aware of what you are gonna purchase. I have to admit, the theme of this collection is sophisticated. I personally like the sandy beige color Safari inspired. Its summery leaning to fall is appropriate for this time of the year. Overall, the collection looks elegant. Finally, a proper packaging that feels expensive. Nonetheless, I'd like to point out a few reflections. Let's start with the palette. The palette is, I believe, $78, so quite expensive. The packaging is a bit bulky, is a bit thick. If you think about what you get, standard powder eyeshadows. So there is no thickness that justifies the thickness of the palette. On top, there's this image of these multiple animals. As you may know, those images are printed on a plastic that is soft and tends to be a bit sticky. So it's not pleasant to pile up with other palettes. It's the same problem that you have with any animal image, even on the single luminescent eyeshadows. But this disadvantage is more prominent with larger palettes or quads. For this reason, this packaging is not my favorite. It's nice to look at, but a bit impractical because of the stickiness of the top layer where the animal print is. Other considerations, you get for $78, three eyeshadows. Two of those are matte, and we all know that matte eyeshadows are the cheapest to produce. The only interesting shade is the third shade that is a satin. If you own a few singles from Chantecai, especially from the Ors collection, where they released a bunch of single eyeshadows in the Big de Gelée formula, also you may have two of the shades here. There's a great review by Jennifer that shows the comparison between this Cheetah palette and Palomino, that is a nude matte by Chantecai, and I actually have my latest video where I compared it to a similar shade by Sisley, similar in shade and formula. So if you own that Palomino shade, then you have already practically the lightest shade. And if you own Pinto, you also own the special shade in this Cheetah palette, let's say shimmery one, that is more of a satin, is not too... The shimmer is not prominent. So what I'm saying is that those shades have already been released in a better formula in the previous horse collection by Chantecai. Yeah, here you have the convenience of having these shades in just one single palette. The palette is not refillable. The shades are not magnetically attached to the palette. But what is a bit disappointing is the choice of having two mattes and just one shimmer. In a standard formula, in a standard powder formula, that personally I'm not fond of. It's personal preference. There are people that love this Chantecai powder formula. Personally, I only like Big Dishley eyeshadows by Chantecai and not even all of them, it depends on the finish. The color combo is a safe choice and is very pretty. I like the yellowish hue that doesn't lean to orange, is a beige yellow that I've seen on Asian makeup. So this palette, this trio, the cheetah palette, reminds me of Asian makeup, light without depth, but on that, but with that sepia yellowish tone that I love and I find very sophisticated. So I wouldn't say this palette is boring. The only thing is that I wish the formula was more precious for what they ask us to pay for it. Having a trio big de gelée would have been a deal, would have been more reasonable for the $78. But having this basic formula and two mattes just one shimmer shade. I feel the margin on this palette is so high. You are just paying for uh, the packaging, the trip that the person that photographed those animals did. You are paying for something that is totally disconnected from the actual palette. 
And I don't like that feeling personally. I like to pay for something that has some value to me. So for me, it's a skip because the only the only special, let's say, shade is the shimmery one that can be duped at 90% by the big Digile Pinto that is much superior in formula. As for the lip products, they are all pinkish or cool toned while I expected the brownish shade, more beigey nude brown to go well with the eyeshadow trio. The packaging is fantastic. This golden packaging with the cheetah on top is great. But the shade themselves are nothing special in my opinion. Shantika is such an overpriced brand that I limit my purchases only when I find big digital formulas because they are good at that. There are other formulas that are worth mentioning. They are Fusion Skin and also the new skin tint with the SPF 15, I think. Those are peculiar uh, textures worth investing on. But all the rest, these standard powders, these standard things, I cannot justify the purchase. While for the baked digitally products, I recognize they are overpriced, but I can make an effort because I recognize the value and something special behind those releases. I can find the value behind the Sunstone collection, the summer collection, while for this one is an easy pass for me. But let me know what you think. What are your thoughts? Because I'm always curious to learn from you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.